Hey everyone, this is Miro. Um, if you're coming from the Faneuil Bandage Community Post and you don't know who I am, let me quickly explain. My name is Mayor SMM, you can call me Saucy. I help Nathaniel with his backwards series. Uh, specifically for pretty much the games I'm good at, um, Mario Kart Wii, Mario Kart 7, um, and I'll be helping him with some of the future platformers as well, so. Um, we were actually planning to do this video, like, pretty much straight after the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe stuff. Um, but then we decided we're gonna do the Mario Karts in reverse order, and um, we're gonna throw in some other games so it doesn't get too stale too fast. Uh, because we started planning in May, what basically happened is a bunch of the stuff I recorded kind of got lost and uh, I got, like got, I just got a new PC. I'm on a different PC from what I recorded all the stuff from. So what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you some of the stuff that was going to be in the video and then we <laughs> just got lost. Alright, so starting out we have Mushroom Gorge and he did actually get Mushroom Gorge um, but we weren't really sure if we were going to put this in or not. But basically, I decided to record it uh, without respawns because I just thought it looked really cool. So basically, you know the little wall glitch? You might not know it, but basically that's this glitch where if you bounce off a mushroom and hit a wall, uh, the player will start trying to climb it because the game's trying to push the character forwards. So I used that to get up the wall, and then um, I used this little green mushroom, and I shroom, shroomed and jumped, and as you can see, I failed a few times, but if you do it just right, which I did not do for a little while. When I did do it just right, which you will see here, I made it over the gap. So if you want to do it without respawns, I think it's really cool that you can do this. Um, you can do that. And also, uh, you can see it a bit there. Um, when you land on the little uh, boost panel, for some reason it just kind of makes it so you can't go on off-road. So that's pretty interesting. It cancels when you touch a bouncy mushroom. So that's a bit of nice Mario Kart Wii trivia for you there. Alright, so the next one is Grumble Volcano, and remember what Nathaniel was saying? Uh, you can, it looks like you can kind of get a respawn if you just aim it just right, and he wasn't wrong. The thing is, you need a mushroom to get there, so what we're going to do is we're going to preserve our mushrooms. We're going to want to get onto the rock, it's amazing you can do that. And then what we're going to next is we're going to do a little mini turbo wheelie thing, stand on mini turbo, and then we're going to use another mushroom to jump onto the side like that. So now we're all the way back here with that respawn. But how do we get further than this? Well actually, we're going to go forward again. And we're going to go to this green pipe, and when the timer hits just the right time, we're going to shroom off the edge and wheelie, and we will land on the stone platform, and then when we jump off the stone platform, we're far back enough that we'll respawn off the side, and then it's pretty much just all respawns on, on the way back. There's one respawn that's kind of mean. It's, um, it's the one coming up here. Um, it's kind of difficult to get that respawn. You just have to aim right, and eventually you'll get it. But yeah, uh, what Nathaniel was saying, you wasn't far off, you just have to go about it in a very different way. Uh, I personally thought this was impossible, but uh, someone called Adali the Best, I remember him telling me that it was possible, I think on a live stream, he was like, try and do it, it's possible, but it's just really hard. So yeah, if you don't know Adali, he's like, Mario Odyssey glitch hunter, he's found some good stuff in there. Alright, so we're going to be finishing off in N64 Bazard Castle. Now, I know you haven't seen this one yet, because it's going to be in the Retro Track video, but, um, as I said, we have planned this back in May, and this one I recorded, so I was like, well, may as well throw it in. It's like, maybe he didn't make it, maybe you didn't make it. You'll have to see in the video, won't you? <laughs> but anyway, um, this is a pretty cool one. What's interesting is that it's a bunch of respawns again, but what's interesting about this respawn, it's really hard. Could almost like 99% of the time you're gonna jump off this and it's gonna respawn you back where you started but for some reason when I did it this time it did not respawn me there it just put me on the bridge where I was trying to go in the first place so that was really nice I'm really glad it did that <laughs> so um, yeah maybe you got lucky maybe you didn't who knows uh, this part we just have to do a little bunk to get ourselves onto the steps what's funny about the steps is that um, all of the steps, you can see as I'm just climbing up them, they're a slope, but the one at the bottom is not a slope, the one at the bottom has a little drop. So if you're trying to go backwards, you have to like jump onto it, and then the rest you can just drive up. Which doesn't really make any sense, but then does Mario Kart ever make any sense? All 
Alright, but that, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you. It's pretty much just Grumble Volcano I needed to show you, but I thought I may as well make an actual video out of this, because, you know, this is my YouTube channel. I, I, I do like to upload some actual serious things on here. Which, by the way, if you're new, you might want to look at them. <laughs> look forward to to Mario Copy Backwards Part 2. I'll be responding to some comments on the Thaniel's video if you have any questions, or you can just ask them in the comments. Anyway, see you later.